We have six challengers this week. How did that happen? Hi, I'm Eclick Nick, and welcome to Tube Trials. This week, the challenger's task was to create mini me's of themselves from scratch and then explain to us why those mini me's represented them. It was a little crafty way of me helping you get to know them a little better. Here's challenger numero uno. Hey guys, I'm not an artist or a crafter at all. I am a baker. I'm a big baker. I am quite white. Quite white. Uh, in the sense that I'm not tan and that that is, I am of the Caucasian race. So we're gonna make Rice Krispie treats for my body. This isn't working. I should have melted the butter first. Melt butter, I really hate. Oh, shit! Pan that's six cups. That is not enough. I should have got a bigger saucepan. I am definitely gonna need a bigger pan. This, there's no way this isn't gonna work. Ah! Melt. I'm trying really hard not to get this all over my hands and fingers. That is gonna suck to wash. The hair, let's do the hair, which is brownies. I'm gonna make my clothing and it's going to be pink, even though I don't wear that much pink but I thought it would stand out against the Rice Krispies whiteness. So now we have to cut everything up to make it the shape of hopefully something that looks like this, but a little bit better. That is my mini meme. Wee! It looks good. That's the end. <laughs> that reminds me that Holly is the best at making brow cakes. Ask her about it. Next up, Sparkly Snake. Um, my username is Sparkly Snake because people tell me that I have an uncanny resemblance with Alan Rickman, so. No foolish one wing or silly incantations in this class. Except Severus and I aren't really rocking the same hairdo, so we're gonna throw in the music element here and give me some hair. Okay, next we're going to give me a shirt because I wear shirts. If you're a YouTuber or you know any YouTubers, then you'll know that um, we're kind of hermits. And so we stay inside and flee from the sunlight. So I'm going to give myself woo, a sombrero. The sombrero made my snape sag. Hey, my mini me is looking like a, a pretty <laughs> shady creeper right now, so um, I guess it's pretty accurate. But I do I do smile more than that, so we're going to uh, give me a smile. Bam. Yeah, look at 
I'm like a pedophile. Now, if you ever watched any of my videos, then um, you'll know that I like to eat. So I think we'll just casually Okay, so my friends and family mean the absolute world to me, so my mini-me wouldn't be complete if I weren't holding some pictures of them. Okay, so my mini-me represents me because I guess he's kind of all over the- she's kind of all over the place. Um, I try to remember not to take myself too seriously most of the time. Um, she kind of also embodies everything I love. Um, uh, my friends, my family, um, Harry Potter got me through some tough times. Um, um, <laughs> and shade. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. You do too. I see the resemblance to Snape, but not so much the resemblance to the Joker. <laughs> Nicely done. Next up, Rusty Doherty 2. This was a really hard challenge. I just made a sock puppet. Here's my little friend. So it kind of looks dumb, but let me explain. See, I have my faux hawk here, and it's made out of hemp, because I used to make macrame. Google it if you don't know what it is. I don't want to explain it right now. But I also have a little bit of uh, my red weave, my little noodle weave, that I used in my um, whip your hair video. That's my little black side right there. Whoosh, pat the weave. Pat your weave. The eyes are made out of dimes that I put on a railroad track and the train came and flattened them. Isn't that like illegal? Shh, don't tell anyone. But it's also about rebelling and doing crazy things because that's what I do all the time. Not that I break the law all the time. Well, the sock is white because I'm white on the outside. The lips, you may say that I just copped out and just used a red marker, but if you know anything about me, you know I draw on my face all the time with marker. All the time. And this red is the clothing I chose, because I like to wear bright colored clothes. Obviously not right now, but I didn't want to upstage my twin. So, I let him wear all the bright clothes. This is the worst sock puppet I've ever made, and I've only made two, so. Yeah. Give you a full 360 view. Wah! Hi, how are you? I'm good. See, it's a guitar. So that represents that I like music, and he wears it as a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> nice sock puppet, Rusty. Now when your parents ask why you're talking to yourself in the basement, you have a legitimate explanation. Great job to everybody this week. I have to say, from knowing you all, the choices you all made reflect you oh so well. But now it's time for the elimination. This week, the votes are up to you, the viewers. Leave a comment with who you want to stay in the competition. One vote per person. Voting closes this Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And tell your friends to subscribe and vote for your favorite challenger to keep them from elimination. Be sure to vote below and check in next week as it is the final challenge. Log you later. Thanks for watching, but be sure to get your viewer armies together as the rest of this competition is decided by your votes. Check out the challengers' channel pages above and below, and I'll see you next week. Bye. See you later.